Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today, I will be explaining projections of lines, especially the concept. So, let's see. First of all, the outlines of the session. First, we will see the concept of projections of lines. Next, we will discuss about the different cases of the lines, like vertical line, horizontal line, and inclined line. So let's see one by one all these different cases of the lines for the projections of line. So before starting the different cases of line, let's try to understand the concept of the projections of lines. So first we have to gather the information regarding the lines. Means its length, position of its ends with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane, and uh, its inclinations with horizontal plane and vertical plane will be given to you. So these are the information that is given to you to draw the projections of the lines. From this information, our aim is to draw its projections. That means the projections of the lines. So in another word, we can say front view and top view of the line. Now let's see the different cases of the line. A vertical line, that means we can say the line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So here you can see this is the horizontal plane, this one is a vertical plane and a vertical line that means it is perpendicular to HP. So here you can see the line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Here you can see. Next, a horizontal line means a line perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. So it is like that, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Next, line parallel to both horizontal plane and vertical plane. So it is like this, the line parallel to VP and parallel to HP. So in short, we can say this line is parallel to both HP and VP. Next, line inclined to HP and parallel to VP. So, the line is like that. Here you can see it is parallel to VP, but it is inclined to HP. Next, line inclined to VP and parallel to HP. So, the line is like that. Here you can see this line is parallel to HP but it is inclined to VP with certain angle. Next, line inclined to both HP and VP. So the line is like that. It is inclined to VP as well as inclined to HP. So here you can see it is inclined to VP and here you can see it is inclined to HP also. So we can say this line is inclined to both VP and HP. Now let's see one by one all these cases. So let's start from the first vertical line. Now let's see first of all the pictorial presentation of this vertical line with respect to HP and VP. So here you can see this is HP, this is VP means horizontal plane and vertical plane and this is the intersection of these both plane that is denoted by XY line and the line is vertical line that means you can understand it is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Let's say it is AB line. Now if you see in this direction then you can see the projection for the front view on VP and it is like this. So you can say it is A dash and it is B dash because of it is front view so it is denoted by the dash so I can say it is A dash and B dash. In case of top view you can see A and B point are on the same point that means both the points are coincide at one point so it is like as a single point. So we can say it is a single point and that is denoted by without dash that means A, B because of both these points are coincide on a single point. 
So this is actually the pictorial presentation of the line AB. And this is called as top view. Now orthographic pattern. So in the examination you have to draw the orthographic pattern only. This is only for the understanding. So here it is the orthographic pattern. It is very simple. First you have to draw the reference line XY. And here you can see A dash B dash that is above XY line. So here you can see A dash B dash above XY line. And you know that HP is always rotated 90 degree in the clockwise direction. And so that this AB point will move below XY line. And here you can see. So in the examination you have to draw this 2D figure for the projection of line. So it is really very simple. So is there any question my dear friends? Absolutely no question at all here because of it is so simple. Next, front view is a vertical line here you can see showing true length because of the length of AB is exactly reflect in the front view. So whatever it may be the length of this AB line that is called as the true length and that is exactly equal to the length of front view. So here you can see this front view showing a true length of AB and a top view is a point for the line AB. Now next case a horizontal line. So let's start with the pictorial presentation for this horizontal line with reference to vertical plane and horizontal plane. Let's say this is the observer and this is the intersection reference line XY and here it is the horizontal line. Let's say it is the AB line. Now if you see the front view then it is always projected on this vertical plane. Can you imagine my dear friend what will be the front view of this AB line? Yes definitely right it will be the single point and that is denoted by a dash B dash because of it is front view. So I can say it is A dash B dash. Next for the top view you can see this straight line over here and the top view is denoted by AB that means without dash. So here I can say A point and here I can say B point. So this is the top view that is projected on the horizontal plane Front view is always projected on this vertical plane. Now it's turn for the orthographic pattern. That means 2D figure. So from this figure you can draw the orthographic pattern. Here you can see front view is a single point A dash B dash and that is above XY line. So here you can see and this horizontal plane is always rotates. 90 degree in clockwise direction and so that this EB point will move below XY line. Here you can see. Here top view is a vertical line and that is showing true length of this line EB. Here also you can see. And front view is a point. Now case number 3. Line is parallel to both HP and VP. So let's see first of all the pictorial presentation with respect to HP and VP. Here you can see this AP line is parallel to both HP and VP. Now if you see for the front view then observer is over here and this is the view direction and that is projected on this vertical plane. So it will be like this. This is the front view that is projected on the vertical plane of AB and you know that it is always denoted with the dash so here it will be A dash and here it will be B dash. Next for the top view it is projected on this horizontal plane and so that you can say it is A point and here it is B point. So very simple. So this is the front view and this one is the top view. Now you can draw the orthographic pattern that means 2D figure. This is actually 3D figure and that you can imagine in your mind only. So it is not required to draw in the examination. So now you can easily draw 
this a dash b dash is above x y line so here you can see and you know that this horizontal plane is always rotates 90 degree clockwise direction and so that this e b will move below x y line here you can see in this case front view and top view both are parallel to x y line and so that both represents as true length here also you can see this top view and front view represent as a true length of ab next case case number 4 line inclined to hp and parallel to vp so let's consider the pictorial presentation first this is the line ab which is parallel to vp and inclined to hp let's say theta is the angle made by line ab with hp now for the front view it is projected on this vertical plane and so that it will be like that a dash and b dash and so that you can say whatever it may be the angle over here you can see the same angle over here for the front view next for the top view it will be like that so it will be represented by ab so this is very simple presentation for the front view and top view in case of line inclined to hp now it's done for the 2d figure that means orthographic pattern so here you can see this a dash b dash is above x y line here you can see this is the theta angle with x y line so here also you can see this is the theta angle with x y line hp will rotate in 90 degree clockwise direction and so that ab will be below x y line in this case front view is inclined to x y line here you can see and top view is parallel to x y line so here front view represent the true length whereas top view will be the shortened length that means ab will be the shorter than true length ab now next case line inclined to vp and parallel to hp so let's start with the pictorial presentation that means with reference to hp and vp this is the line ab which is inclined to vp and parallel to hp so let's say the angle is pi with the vp made by line ab now let's say for the top view it will be like this so it will be a and b and so that you can see this inclination here as it is now next in case of the front view it will be projected on this vertical plane so that it will be represented by a dash b dash and this is the front view so now you can draw the orthographic pattern front view here you can see a dash b dash that is above x y line and hp always rotates in 90 degree clockwise direction so that this e b will move below x y line here you can see this angle phi is with reference to this x y line so here also you can see this phi angle is with this x y line that means with the horizontal line so here top view is inclined to x y line and front view is parallel to x y line and in this case top view represent the true length whereas front view will represent the shorter length than this e b line now the last case line inclined to both h p and v p so let's start with the pictorial presentation this is the line ab which is inclined to both hp and vp so in case of front view it will be like this and that is always projected on this vertical plane represented by a dash b dash let's say it is the angle alpha next for the top view it is denoted by ab and the angle is represented by beta now it's done for the orthographic pattern 
you can see it is B dash is above X Y line whereas this A B will rotate 90 degree in clockwise direction so that it will move below X Y line. In this case both front view and top view are inclined to X Y line. So no view is parallel to X Y. So both front view and top view having reduced length. Here also you can see. So no views shows true length in case of line inclined to both HP and VP. At last, is it really amazing to understand the concept of line? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.